just got back from a road trip, went all the way down to North Carolina. It's probably about 14 to 16 hour drive, depending on how many stops you take. And we road tripped it the whole way, so that was pretty awesome. I really like road trips. I feel like there's just something magical about them. You know, sure it's boring sitting in a car and, you know, driving that far, but once you get to see all the cool sights, we, we drove through the mountains, you know, and that is awesome. We even got to drive through mountains. They had these huge tunnels just straight through a mountain, and that was pretty awesome. I really like doing that. You know, you, you people who live there, they, they get to see those things all the time, but someone who doesn't, that was really awesome. I had a really good time. And once we got there, I got to meet up with my dad, who I haven't seen in a while. Um, he lives in another state, so it's really hard to be able to see him all the time. And I had a really good time making this video. We toured the uh, SS North Carolina together and made a video about it for my channel. It was really cool because it's the first time I ever made a video with him. He's not really in the video a whole lot, but he he kind of tried to stay out of the video, but I, I got a few shots of him on there. And we had a really good time, you know. We were joking around, we were laughing the whole time. It, it was a lot of fun. When we first got there, I noticed there's a sign that says, Do not feed the alligator. Well, beware of alligators, do not feed the wildlife. So there could be alligators in here? As we were walking up the ramp, the first thing you notice is three big cannons just aimed up into the sky. These things had to have been probably 20 or 30 feet long. I might be exaggerating, but they were huge. That's awesome. Yeah, like, could you imagine that? Like, you're on this ship in the ocean where the ocean's knocking you around. You got those cannons going off. You got people firing those guns. There's airplanes coming from overhead. Dude, that'd be insane. And this whole ship, like, this wooden deck would just be, like, vibrating off, off the boat. That'd be nuts. <laughs> we can go inside this turret. Oh, wow. This is neat. Wow. Look at all that. Can you see through that little periscope? Uh -huh. Nice. Hey look, that one's got a seat on it. <laughs> nice. What's a scuttlebutt? Drinking fountains or called scuttlebutts. No. This was like 1940s water cooler. So if you left some laying around, it was called a lucky bag, and then you gotta go to the lucky bag room. It was locked up, and in order to get it back, you gotta do chores and stuff. Huh. 
Oh, the wishing well. That's pretty neat, huh? Let's see if we can hit the bottom. There's a little hole down there. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, that one's not. That one's in third floor. The first one made it right in that pot. This ship even had its own post office. The crew was able to send letters home and receive letters from home. What they would do is they would take their letters to the post office and the post office would somehow photocopy the, the letters, put them on microfilm, and a ship would come out and pick up all the microfilm bring it back to shore, and once they got back to shore, they would reprint the letters, put them in envelopes, and mail them out to the people's families. Wow, look at all that. I don't know what that is. Look at the size of those guns, holy moly. Once we got done touring the SS North Carolina, we were hungry and we wanted to go out to eat. My dad took us to this cool little microbrewery where they make their own beer there. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. This was really fun for me to make, and I really like history, and I like making these type of videos. I love the road trip, and being in a new place, that was really awesome. I had a great time, I really hope that I can make more videos like this. Hopefully, maybe me and my dad can get together and make other videos, because I had a great time doing this. Keep watching for more videos, I went a few other places while we were on this road trip, and I'm going to be making a couple other videos about it. See you guys later.